You know, hanging out with a cat, when you hang out with a cat, they show, you know, you move in organic ways. You're not always linear. And uh, how many people actually move in organic ways other than dancers, right? Like we walk straight, we don't really sway our hips. And uh, I know some people uh, make dan um, walking into some sort of statement about themselves. I get that. But for the most part, we don't, you know, move around. Like if you watch little kids, they're all moving organically. When did we stop moving? In school. The natural movement when you talk. So I'm going to just, you know, give myself full permission to move all I want to while I'm talking to you. And so, you know, I'm sitting on the floor. I'm hanging out. We're having a little chat. And so the discovery that I'm having with my desire to actually have my own free will. And my own free will really entails policing the thoughts. And hand selecting the thoughts and hand picking, weeding out the thoughts that aren't conducive towards the life you want to live. It could be anything. 5G is bad for me. Oh, it's getting me. Oh, no. Go ping, ping, ping. You know, do something physical if you want to do something physical. Meaning Faraday cage or some sort of cloth or silver something to protect yourself. Shungai, whatever. Do all of that. But also, go within yourself, in your own heart, and create your own force field. <laughs> Don't just go, oh, oh, the boogeyman's going to get me. No. So this wild creature, if she doesn't get enough playtime, she'll bat me. She caught it. Yeah, she's a huntress. It's her nature to want to do that. So what is the human nature that we have that schooling and religion, by the way, um, yanked us back and made us become these domesticated things? Rather than the wild creatures that we are. Yeah. Right? You know, in the in the animal kingdom, um, animals don't go around raping the ladies. They try, <laughs> and then yeah, some some yeah, they get forced. Okay. Um, well, let's bring it up a notch. You know, not to like like the rodents, like the squirrels and stuff and rabbits. No, um, the girl does make the rabbit boy do it though, uh, not do it, but the lady rabbit, <laughs> the female rabbit, she, I observed them enough, she won't let you just dump on her and take her, you have to have a very strong w desire, and then she will uh, allow it, but only then, <laughs> and then it's really funny, the male rabbits fall off to their sides and just lay there stunned and amazed for a bit. <laughs> Ejaculating rabbits are the funniest thing. <laughs> They're completely stunned. Okay, how did I sidetrack myself? Okay, I saw two seagulls doing it last uh, March. That'd be about the time. So I was staying at this hotel and there was a wharf. It was in a a river that was a port area actually and if we kept going out with out the ocean would be okay so the seagulls were there and um oh 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 they start doing this dance okay so it's not just him jumping her he does this dance she does this dance <laughs> they you know bob their heads back and forth sort of like when people go to the uh it, it's not called mating dance um, at the discotheque, but it could be. Some people could confuse it, <laughs> but it's not. But it can be, because animals are, humans are animals, we're mammals. But we have, 
personalities and lives, and we are, we're not just seagulls, um, you know, the little rats of the sky cleaning up the world of, of fish. <laughs> so, um, I just think that our, our, our human nature, who we have been, has been cultivated out of us. And I'm cultivating my wild nature back. I'm going to look at myself for a bit. So one of the things I suggest you actually do, and I'm going to do it unabashedly right now because I just got out of bed and I'm probably going to have to wash my hair because I'm going to a bubbly champagne and wine uh, event tonight. And it's like, if I don't want to wash my hair if I don't have to. I'd rather just muss it up, you know, and then um, eventually it will fall into whatever shape and then it becomes, and then I put my makeup on. So you just have to make sure you don't have, you know how mattress head, where it will be like, and you'll have your skin show, <laughs> and it's an obvious indent. You want to you wanna move all that out. So I'm going to massage my scalp is what I'm doing. Talking to you. Uh, so, um, yeah, you know, being... Being able to take a day to yourself to not have an agenda, but to have a fun thing to do at the end of it, like I do. Actually, it's in the middle. Because, you know, here's notes to self. Um, you design your own life. That includes your thoughts. The thoughts are going to be like uh, what I just told you or demonstrated, but thoughts can also be, I should be doing. Like, how many of us are like... I should be doing X, Y, Z, and instead I'm just laying on the floor, staring at the ceiling, stretching my body, and moving my hips back and forth, or, for God's sake, don't watch television, it's a boob tube, it's programming. Enough people, I, I see enough people buying the same object, what, people are buying these things, plug-in things. That you plug into your and they're plastic. I don't watch television, and now all these people I know own them. So somehow they get promoted. Um, so here's the other thing: words you choose, words of spelling. So there's a woman named Cara St. Louis who talks about the Fay. And as much as uh, John Lim Lash talks about the Rome, in a different way, though. So she, I'm not sure what she's all about, but they both are into this swastika shape. Um, when Polaris, um, the North Star, and the Big Dipper do this dance around the Four Seasons, it is actually a swastika. And so... Um, we are of the earth for certain, and we are from the earth for certain. We are of and from the earth. Same elements, okay? Duh. So, um, don't argue with me about, yeah, but we don't have poisons, like, you know, oil and stuff. Um, look at the ones we have in common. When you look at what we do have in common, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, but I'm not a Bible thumper. And the Bible was written by aliens that want to take over your planet and have. <laughs> and they've done it through your own undoing. Because they are the ones that shape your thoughts. Wrote your words, changed your language. Okay, your deeds speak volumes. So this actually says, design your life, design your life, design your thoughts. Redesign, design your words, design your deeds, and it all will take willpower because we are in a free will universe. <laughs> what happened to there? We're in a free will universe, so we are told. But then what happens? We get mental mind disturbances, and then our own thoughts disturb our very own progression. Set up straight. Don't doodle. Okay, doodling. They discovered some scientists. I don't know if it's true anymore. I don't know if anything's true. All I know is that doodling 
does, is allows another part of your brain to be activated, and it means you're listening even better than to stand sitting there like a robot taking it in like a sheeple. Doodle away, but get off your stupid fucking cell phone. <sighs> I really. The cell phone isn't is not you're can't you you're not able to multitask and all you're gonna do is get cranky. Indignance has its place for crankiness because you want to go back to some stupid thing that app that you're on and fiddling around with your thumbs and look taking your your precious precious potent attention that you could be putting on a tree outside as changing. It's this beautiful orange color. It's changing in the uh, the seasons. This is probably the last um, few days it will have leaves. Where I live, it's getting colder. It's already, you know, you have to wear a winter jacket. I don't live in someplace warm. <laughs> but it gets warm in the summer. So, um, yeah, this will work. This will work just fine. This thing will bop around. I'll get a clip. But yeah, that, that will be my look tonight. And I'll just put a barbed in. Um, yeah, like move your body. <sighs> Breathe. Rotate your shoulders, your neck. <sighs> that cat's relaxing. Um, also, it's like, I've discovered through Planetary Tantra, although I'm not following verbatim what John Lynn last teaches, because I'm the master of my own life, I'm the captain of my own ship, and I'm designing my own life, which means I'm designing my own journey, and I'm using my own willpower to desi decide what will be true for me. So you can learn tools and tricks from people, but then you design them for yourself. That's how they're powerful. Not by following a recipe and a spell book and going bibbity bobbity boo boof. You know, as for ridiculous, it's ridiculous. So it's through the body um, that you connect to the planet, and that's how we end up telepathing. You know, um, in planetary tantra, they use the Shakti cluster app to do that um, because it's a commonality, it's a common field. Uh, but so is the Earth. You know, the organic white light. I see it sporadically. Um, and I don't do drugs to see it, so I'm told that it's not real, um, I, I'm not, I'm not told, but in one of John's videos, um, it's like, there's a difference between wishful thinking and the supernatural, certainly, um, but I know what I know and I see what I see, I don't need to convince anybody else. So what it was for me was just, I, I connected to a tree. Like I, I walk in the woods, I put my hand on the tree, and I was just feeling the tree. And then everything got fluffy and quiet, and I could see this light. And it was feeding me. So I felt like it was less about the experience of seeing it and more like it was feeding me. I felt fed, I felt nourished by this um, light. And then I went home, you know, um, and I connect, of course, as you, many of you know, to the sun. I do sun gazing. Um, but that's the original intention of how, hey, where are you? <laughs> there you are. Oh, she got it. She got it first thing. When she, she gets it. She gets to keep it. I'll pull it again later. Um... <laughs> So, you connect to animals too. She's a true hunter. She is. She's a hunter. Okay, I'm going to make this one not too long. Um, so, this is one of the ways to do willpower. I am not here to give you, again, a recipe book of step one, step two, step three. I've said that before. I've said, hey, all you have to do is come in with a um, well-trained aim in a, in a golf club and 
sure shot win. You, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the ball on the tee for you, and you can, you know, shoot a hole in one. Um, I said something like that, but that's not really what I meant. It was just I was being playful. Um, basically, when you start loosening up, becoming a little more wild, <laughs> um, you'll discover what your free will is because your willpower will start asserting itself. Like, I wanted to get, my, my feet were cold, so what did I do? Like, rather than, oh, just put shoes on, oh, 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 just do this, do that. I stopped, climbed up onto the basin, and put my feet into the, the water. And I made it warm, I washed my face, I looked at myself in the mirror, you know, washed my face, looked at myself in the mirror, and totally 100% acknowledge myself as a beautiful living representation of the female goddess divine, divine energy incarnate <laughs> just as she is a feline one and then I realized that what I wanted to do was warm up my feet so I filled up the tub the basin climbed up up there because I'm small enough to and then warm my feet up. And then I um, was sitting there and the cat came up. <laughs> and she, she came around she, and she had to back out. I got to watch how a cat backs out. I had to move one thing so she could back out. She was, uh, here's the mirror and I'm in this like little space. It's big enough for a basin with just so many inches on both sides of it. It's like a little closet space for a sink. And I'm sitting up on one side of it with my tush on one side. You know, it's only so big. <laughs> she jumps up and she's on the other side and she wants to come in. I'm like, no, what are you going to do? And she backed out. I got to see how she felt with her legs. So people do that too. We get into things and it's not for us or um, we, we feel our way uh, with our bodies. You know, she was feeling her way with her body, which way to go. I'm going to be playing with my hair because I told you I'm getting ready to go out. So we feel with our bodies. Our bodies know. We're always trying. This is always cross-examining us and double-guessing, right? Feel with both the gut. If it tightens up, <laughs> it's not a good thing. It doesn't mean you're afraid. It means it's a wrong move. Something down the timeline is telling you don't do it in your timeline field. I know this for certain. So, don't come through it. Don't. That's, a, that's your body telling you, wait a minute, wait, just, just wait a minute here. I'm not ready. I'm not sure it's a good idea for you to do that right now. So, read your own body. Uh, so, that's how you start recognizing and creating free will. Not some exercise, but sure, follow your nose, follow your investigation. Find out, how do I, you know, do, 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 do. Google search or duck, duck, go. Um, developing willpower. I say break your bonds of domestication. Start loosening up. Get off the television set watching. It's programming. I don't care what fucking show you watch and how good it is. I don't. Just try watching no television and see what happens. Look outside. Look at the trees. Bundle up in a jacket and go outside without music on and look at the season change. Just listen to the, the squirrels, the birds. Just listen to things. Just be out there. That's called meditation. That's how you develop free will. Mm -hmm. Um... So, basically, I'm cheering you on, if you want. Reclaim the freedom of your wild nature. The, your wild nature will keep you healthier. It doesn't mean anything changes in your life. You have the same job, same husband, same wife, I hope, you know, unless, you know, either one of you is a complete couch potato, and you can't take it anymore. But if you're a couch potato... Yeah. I don't know. It's like, I can't tell you what to do with your relationships. I have a guy who watches television, and he has to have a television set on. But he takes moments out. 
He does. Besides, he's the one that took me on that ride. <laughs> I just bonked myself on the head with this thing. He took me on that that extremely exciting, exhilarating ride onto the um, Corolla Beach North Access that takes you to Carnova, which is like like camping in a house. It's out there. Um, I mean, don't, don't you want your freedom to be able to use your own willpower to choose a life, to direct your will, to not have other th entities outside of yourself decide things for you? And to actually, like, make up your own mind being happy with what you have. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, so there is the Christ consciousness that I do talk about, but that's not to be confused with the Christ in the Bible, but I think it's an important element because uh, I had three major experiences in my life that alerted me to the fact that we do have watchers, and they could be ourselves. So our own earthly experience. So imagine the life you'd like to have and have it. <laughs> And it doesn't require material wealth. It requires getting a hold of your thoughts, your words, your deeds, developing your willpower. Design your life. There's an uh, um, outline for somebody who wants to write the book. But credit me, because I'm writing my other books, and I'd, I'd like to be able to uh, get credit where credit is due. Um, I mean, maybe I'll write the book in the future. <laughs> but right now, it's my way of keeping my creative wheels juice as I'm, I am writing my other book so Lay Girls is the first one it's about when I was working my way through school um, and uh, Daddy Jack's Blue Note is the other and that's the more palatable place where I was a stage performer I was not a table dancer I didn't dance at tables um, I performed on a stage a professional stage three song set with costumes, and I designed it all myself. So, since I'm good at that, um, that's what I'm here to share with you, my gifts. <laughs>